My name is Eric and I quit my job to travel around the country for one year in a teardrop trailer. From Florida to California to Washington to the Canadian Rockies to Maine and back to Florida. It's always been my dream to see the entire United States and I'm doing it. I'm escaping normal life. All right, well, I hope you can hear me okay. I'm at Shenandoah National Park and there's uh, quite a bit of traffic around me and uh, the wind is picking up a little bit. So I'm staying inside the trailer, so hopefully the sound is a little bit better. But I kind of just want to talk briefly just about my sleeping situation inside the trailer. A lot of people ask, how big is it inside? And uh, can how many people will it fit? And where do you sleep in there? Because uh, a lot of people just don't think that there's actually a bed inside here when they see just the outside of it. And I've talked about this before on other videos, but usually those videos are just kind of focused on just maybe the camper in full. They don't really talk just about the bed. So this video is just going to be just about just my sleeping arrangements inside the camper. All right, well, if you've never watched my channel before or you're just really unfamiliar with teardrops in general, uh, this one is a six wide uh, teardrop trailer, which means it's absolutely built for uh, to sleep two people comfortably. In fact, usually when you buy a teardrop that was built for two, it usually comes with a queen size mattress inside. Um, however, I bought mine used, so it didn't have a mattress in it, uh, which was perfectly fine with me because <laughs> I am a solo traveler and uh, I didn't need a big bed inside of it. I actually wanted uh, a single mattress inside and I used the rest of it for storage. So um, I put a, a single air mattress in there and that's what I sleep on and I'm gonna show you that now. Well, here's my view and here's my bed. Well, all right, here's my bed and once again, not a bad view to sleep next to, huh? All right, so here's what I'm actually sleeping on. Let me pull everything back and show you. Okay, so I'm literally just using an air mattress. This particular one is made by Nemo, Nemo Equipment. They make lots of camping gear. This is the QZAR 3D, and this is an insulated pad, so it helps out a little bit with keeping in um, some warmth and keeping the cold out. Um, this is designed to be rolled up and then stowed away in like a uh, backpack so you can go um, you know, camping with it or something. Um, I just leave it blowing up like this all the time. Uh, on top of that, just for a little bit more support, I put this pillow top foam that uh, you would put on just a regular mattress. I put that on there for a little extra support. And basically for blankets, I use a sleeping bag. This is also a Nemo sleeping bag. I just really love Nemo stuff. Uh, this one happens to be the Tempo. Uh, and it's a 35 degree bag. Now, uh, it keeps me pretty warm on really, really cold nights. I actually have a fleece liner. That is what that is. And that will actually go inside of my sleeping bag and I really stay warm in there. And then just a regular pillow on top. And to make it feel like a little bit more like a real bed, I took these uh, sheets that I had from home from a king size mattress. I actually just folded them over, used some, used some fabric glue to keep it together. And this kind of forms like a giant cocoon inside of here. And I put that in my uh, sleeping bag. And so it kind of gives it more of a, instead of just sleeping just on the sleeping bag itself, I'm sleeping on this. Gives it a little more of that bed kind of feeling. Plus I can take this out and wash this, which I always do when I do laundry. And then this stays nice and clean. When I got on the road and started traveling, I basically just started with what I had. I had all this camping equipment from when I just used to car camp. So I had the sleeping bag already, I had the air mattress already, and um, so I just left with those things. I like the air mattress because it keeps the weight down in the trailer. It's pretty comfortable for me. It's not as comfortable as a real bed, obviously. It's still an air mattress, but I sleep pretty comfortably with it. If you've watched my videos in the past, you may know that I used to have a red uh, air mattress, and this is a blue one. Uh, that red one was also a Nemo one, and something happened to it. So I reached out to Nemo uh, and they actually exchanged it for me. And I didn't expect them to do that at all. So that was really great of them. So I will always brag about Nemo equipment. They're just a really fantastic company. And I have no affiliation whatsoever with them. I make no money off of them. I have no partner affiliate with them. It's just, I'm just a user of their products. I just think they make really stellar products. All right, well, that's it. Quick video, but I just wanted to kind of address just basically my sleeping situation. That's probably the biggest question I get asked all the time from anybody who's walking by the trailer or sees me outside the trailer and is constantly asking questions. The number one question I get is, how do you sleep in there? Where do you sleep? Uh, does it, how many people is asleep? So I thought I'd just address this uh, one question in this one video. All right, well, thanks for escaping normal life with me. Now I'm gonna get back to enjoying the park.